Recall that if we take an HBr molecule and mix it with an asymmetrical alkene in the presence of peroxide, we will induce a radical reaction shown here that will lead to an anti of less substituted product. So here we have the initiation steps and the propagation steps. Now what happens if we replace this bromide molecule with another halogen such as chloride or iodide? So it turns out that this radical reaction will not take place with either iodide or chloride. In other words, only bromide reacts with the alkene via radical-induced addition reaction. So these two halogens will not lead to the anti markovnikov product. In fact, if we take the following alkene, this same alkene, and mix it with, let's say, an HCl molecule in the presence of our peroxide, that will produce markovnikov product via a two-step mechanism, a straightforward addition mechanism. In other words, in the first step, this H will add, this H will add to this carbon forming the tertiary, more stable carbocation intermediate, and in the second step, the chloride will add to this carbon forming our Markovnikov product. On the other hand, if we take the HBr and mix it with the same alkene in the presence of peroxide, this reaction, our radical reaction, will take place forming the anti Markovnikov product. Why is this the case? To answer this question, we have to examine the two propagation steps. Recall that endothermic reactions are those reactions where the bonds formed are less stable than the bonds that are being broken. At the same time, exothermic reactions are those reactions where the bonds that are being formed are more stable than the bonds being uh, broken. So we have to examine which ones are endothermic and which reactions are exothermic. So let's look at these two steps. So we have our two propagation steps, except now we're using a symmetrical alkene and we've replaced the bromide with the following X. So let's look in case one, at, at case one where the X is our iodide. So let's look at step one. In step one, we have the pi bond being broken and we have the sigma carbon X bond or carbon iodide bond being made. Remember, broken means energy is being inputted, 66 kilocals of energy per mole, and exothermic, this is exothermic because when bonds are being made, we release energy. So we have 66 66 kilocals of energy being inputted minus what is being released. So we get 9 kilocals per mole of energy. Notice this is positive. That means our first step is endothermic. In other words, if our halogen is iodide, our first step of the propagation step will be endothermic. The bonds being formed will be less stable than the bonds being broken. And that means that reaction will not take place. So the reason that when we replace the bromide with an iodide, the reason that reaction will not take place via this radical mechanism is because this first step of the propagation step is endothermic. Once again, the first propagation step does not take place because bonds formed are less stable than bonds broken. Let's look at case two. In case two, we're replacing this X with the chloride halogen. So once again, in step one, we have the bonds broken, the pi bond, the bonds being made, the carbon chloride bond. So we have 66 of so we have 66 kilocals of energy being inputted, 72 being released. 66 minus 72 is negative six kilocals per mole. So our first step, the propagation step, in case two is exothermic. What about the second step? The second step, we have HCl being broken, CH being made. HCl is 103 kilocals per mole, and CH is 98 kilocals per mole. 
So 103 minus 98, we have positive 5 kilocals per mole of energy that is needed for our second propagation step to take place when our halogen is chloride. So that means the reason our chloride will not undergo this radical reaction, will not induce this radical reaction, is because the second step of the propagation step is endothermic. Now, if we examine the, HP, the HBr case, both of these propagation steps are in fact exothermic. And that's exactly why our HBr reaction will induce, or our HBr molecule will induce, this radical addition reaction.